everybody. What I'm going to talk to you today about is complexity in rondos. And we're going to start with the difference between having one player in the middle, two players in the middle, and generally overall more players in a rondo. So anytime there's two players in the middle, the rondo becomes a more complex exercise. And one of the things that you want to encourage and coach your players on is when you're in the middle, don't run through your partner's passing lanes. Create your own angles that are complementary to your partner. Don't start taking up your partner's angles and running through his passing lanes. So what you want to concentrate is find your own space that doesn't infringe upon your partner's space. You want to adopt a smart, intelligent body orientation while you're in that space. You constantly want to be scanning so you know what's around you. So before the ball comes to you, you already have a full picture of what's around you before you receive the ball. And we call this doing the work before you actually get the ball. So when the ball comes to you, you already know what's around you. You already have the correct, correct body orientation. You know where your partner is so you're able to, to bounce the ball off your partner if needed. All the decision making now takes care of itself. So let me give you an example. This is a less complex rondo. You see it's 3v3 plus 2. There's only one player in the middle. So finding that space for that one player is pretty simple. There's three defenders and he doesn't have to worry about being in the path of his partner and taking up his partner's angles. Now we're going to progress this. You see now this is a 6v6 plus 4. This becomes a much more complex exercise. A, it's harder to find space. B, there's a partner in here, so there's two players. So taking up the angle, scanning, everything comes becomes amplified in this. So that's the difference between a rondo with one player in the middle, two players in the middle, and, and more players. You can see how important this is. Scan, body orientation, be aware of your partner. Don't start running through your partner's lanes and really work on simplifying your decision making to keep the ball under high pressure in tight areas.